Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Ramadan Daily. So today, you can obviously tell I am back at home and I mean, you guys saw the other vlog, but um, I actually just got ready. It is like almost 10 p.m. and I need to get going. Sorry, it is so dark. One second. But today, yeah, I'm actually speaking. I'm here in Toronto for a couple reasons, but one of them is to speak on a panel with Google today and I'm excited. It's with Google and Google slash YouTube and Ryerson University. They came out with like a case study basically on YouTube and for the release of it, they're having like a little press conference with a couple of other YouTubers um, and we're gonna be on a panel. So I believe it is gonna be Yolanda from How To Cake It and also ASAP Science. So should be a cool time. This is my outfit. I went for something a little businessy, but then also, you know, very playful uh, with my kind of vibe, but I'm just wearing these like I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but these slacks, like these pants, and then just a tank top under. My hijab is kind of messed up, but honestly, I'm too late to uh, figure out <laughs> how to fix it. So what am I looking for? Oh, my wallet. There we go. All right, so I'm actually not late late, but I wanted to leave at 9.45 and it's like 9.50 now, but it's okay. I feel like I should get there on time anyways. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I love speaking on panels, you guys know that. I've been on a couple now, so hopefully it all goes well. I do kind of like prepare what I'm gonna say before I go on a panel just so that, you know, I sound a little more articulate and stuff. Sorry, this lighting is just going out of whack. There's something wrong with my camera. I feel like I've just like dropped it too many times. It doesn't want to work anymore. So there we go. But I will see you guys a little bit later when I'm a little less flustered, maybe at the event. And then um, I'm gonna try and record a little bit of the panel. Maybe I can set down my tripod somewhere, but I'll see you guys. So I made it to downtown Ryerson University and I'm walking over now. Let me show you what shoes I'm wearing. They don't really match with my outfit. <laughs> And I didn't realize until after. It kind of sucks, but whatever they'll have to do. But it's actually really nice outside today, thankfully. I didn't know if it was gonna be cold or warm coming to Toronto, but thankfully I brought the warm weather. All right, so I just made it to Ryerson to the event and I ran into a subscriber. This is Sarah. Hi! <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm so happy that you came here. And yeah. like you're, you're working the event and you I just got to meet you. my day. Oh, it looked like so boring. Sweet. It was boring. I was standing here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, you can you can hear hopefully the presentation. Are you like a it's student? It's fun inside. RCC? I'm just because I'm sitting outside. Oh, I feel you. Okay. I mean, it's 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 filling up. I'm sure it'll get more fun. But it was nice to meet you. <laughs> just finished with the panel. It went really, really well. I'm back in my car now. Um, I didn't get to get any footage of it, unfortunately, other than the little um, clips that you guys saw of the speaker and the little posters and stuff, but it went really, really well. I thought that the conversation was really interesting, and also the findings were really interesting, like the actual findings on the research. I think this was like one of the first times that I've actually seen substantial, substantial research being done on YouTube, and coming from a business background like I had wished we got to learn more about this stuff in university I feel like the ecosystem is like so behind on YouTube and social media creators and content creators and all that stuff but good on YouTube good on YouTube Canada Google Canada and thank you so much to the Google team for inviting me but yeah um really digging my makeup today. I finally got a new pair of lashes, the ones that I've been wearing, the, um, what's it called? Chiffon by Kiss. I went to Ulta while I was in the US and I bought literally three pairs because I love them so much, but nice fresh pair. So right now I'm just gonna go back home and I think I'm gonna get a head start on packing to be honest. Oh, actually that's a lie. I need to go home and <laughs> edit this video and uh, post it. Not the video currently, but I need to get a video up today. So I will see you guys at home and so much later in the evening guys but I literally spent all day in this bed I came home took off my makeup I can't even remember the last time I vlogged to be honest 
but basically I was just working I edited and uploaded my video and approved some other content did some emails and yeah that is pretty much what is going on right now it is about 8 42 so it's almost time to break our fast and my uncle is actually here as well and we don't have that much food to be honest that we're eating today so I might potentially order something off skip the dishes skip the dishes is like a like a food sharing app and a lot of you guys actually always use my code so I am always forever having like free meals let's see how much I have now actually that's a lie I only have $20 left but if you guys want to get a free meal maybe you are bored of cooking iftar and um, you live in Toronto or um, Canada then you can use skip the dishes with my link down below but I don't really have much to update you guys on today was very very boring tomorrow is when I'm actually like gonna start packing and you know doing all that kind of stuff so that will be a little bit more interesting I keep thinking it's like Thursday and tomorrow's Friday but it's actually Wednesday so I have a lot more time I just kind of want to start packing at least all of my clothes because there's just some stuff where I'm like I don't even know how I'm gonna pack like some of like the not furniture pieces but like some of my camera equipment and just things that are not clothes <laughs> is what I'm worried about luckily I shipped all of my shoes so I don't have to worry about that uh, which was another thing that I was stressing about because they're so heavy but I don't have to worry about that which is great so I'm just gonna pack my clothes tomorrow I think and then the rest I will figure out and I also just need to cancel like all of my memberships like guys I'm legit moving moving like I need to cancel my gym membership my phone line what else I need to like send myself money to the US so that I have money when I can open up my bank account like there's just there's a lot of stuff to do which is very annoying and I'm not like I don't know if you guys have ever moved from Canada to the US let me know what your process was like I don't know if I'm supposed to close all my bank accounts here and just have my US bank accounts or if I can open both like I literally have I don't know who I'm gonna be paying taxes to like I'm just very confused at this point so that's what's going on I will see you guys when we break our fast actually let me show you let me show you what we will be eating tonight so it's kind of exactly what we're eating or what we were eating yesterday but just some leftovers my mom also made some shudo anyways i love shudo so i'm excited to eat that we also have the soup and just the regulars like sambusa sweet potato dates and stuff like that and then what's it called the food from yesterday that our neighbors brought so I think I still am gonna order something off Skip the Dishes though because yesterday I was so hungry <laughs> after iftar and um, I had like an oatmeal like for sahur and it just did not, it did not do me good. I was literally starving the second I woke up so I need to um, order some more food but that's what's going on. Guys, the rest of the vlog is gonna be a mirror, a documentary of a mirror. <laughs> I need to get these minutes in. <laughs> stop me. I'm supposed to put 12 ounces in here, but forgot to turn it on. So now I don't know how much it is. I just eyeballed it. Yeah. That looks about right. Hopefully. No, nah, it's too watery. It's going to be way too watery. Mm, yeah, Where that actually looks like a lot of liquid. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. tell them why you have protein shakes every night after a <laughs> star. <laughs> oh, that's way too much. Uh, oh my god. You smell that? No. You gotta get your protein in, guys, and drink your water, especially for Ramadan. Very important. Let's see his meal prep. <laughs> what happened here? Oh, I was Bumped chasing a kid. No, I was time. chasing a kid at the center. Mm. And he ran outside, which he wasn't supposed to, and then I ran into the door. <laughs> you ran because he opened the door, and then the door swung back and hit me. Well, this is Amir's meal prep. This is what he eats every night for iftar. Very healthy, no keto carbs. friendly, no carbs. Mm. Oh my God, that's so thick still. <gasps> Amir. What's wrong with you? I need to get back onto this, guys. I've been eating so unhealthy. It's all Muhammad's fault, man. Don't play. It, it, it's all his fault, okay? You were, He's... Eating, you were eating healthy before you was. <laughs> yes, I was. I was eating healthier, but now I, I eat. You. I eat what he eats, and like he, the stuff that he eats, I can't afford to eat. I told you. I told you <laughs> to get on the meal prep game. Early. I know. 
I'm gonna start meal prepping when I get back. But I just haven't. I've been like in and out. Like I haven't. I haven't like. I haven't even um, been able to like actually sit down, and make food, food. You know, I've been like gone. It literally takes. No, it's not even that. It's not even that. It's not, even that. it's not even that. I don't have time to make it because I leave before I could even finish or start. So I don't want it to go to waste because I was in Seattle. I was in Arkansas you and then I came for a couple days and I was. It's just liquid. You can't make with you. I don't want to take that food with me. What? Nah, I like eating fresh food. Exactly. Fresh food in your mind means going out to eat. No, we haven't really been eating out lately. It's just his mom <laughs> gave us a lot of rice. So we've been trying to finish that. Get Wait. a cat. Feed the cat the rice. I'm not going to get a cat. Yes, you are. No, I'm not getting a cat. We need Anyways, a cat. Guys, I need to change the battery. It's going to die on me. But we can't have it because I'm allergic. Well, I'm allergic as well. I am. We're both allergic to cats. Get your shots and then get a cat. You get your shots and then you get a cat. I got no place you're the cat. one who wants one. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna help me build all my furniture when you come? You guys gotta ask for that. Nah, he's, he's, he's not very good at building furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Not to call him out, but mm -hmm. I just did. <laughs> Amir's gonna do a mini ASOS haul for us. <laughs> what? <laughs> He ordered on ASOS, so ASOS you're gonna do a mini ASOS haul. I don't even know if this will look good. I don't know why I got this, okay? The print is fine. Hmm? You look like, it's like a referee. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be small. Yeah, that looks pretty tiny, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I could just turn it around while you change. Okay. It looks fine. Hmm? It looks fine. Why do you always put the tag in the mask? Spot. Yeah, it looks fine. It's not too small. Hmm? It's not too small. It's, it's like a muscle tee. <laughs> yeah. It like. It's like a, it's like a opposite referee. It looks fine to me. Yeah, I guess. So. Now try the other one. What's what does that what does that say? Man. Hmm. Never mind. See, so it says man. Huh? Man. Oh. I don't know why I got this. I don't remember getting it. Why'd you get something that says man all over it? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, try it on. <laughs> yeah, this one, this one I should have done an extra large of everything. Mm. But honestly, I feel like I underestimate my size now because I lost a bunch of weight. Yeah, you got lean. Yeah. It's literally the same sizing. Well, I'm self conscious on my butt, so like, I feel like it's going to stick out with these ones. Need no, it looks fine. How does it look, though? Yeah, it looks fine. Just kind of random that it says man, but it it's fine. I got, I got, I got jeans, but I picked the wrong color. So like, I thought I was getting like a, like a bluish, like washed out. Mm -hmm. But I got a black washed out. Mm. I don't know. I'm lying. A basic T-shirt. Those pants are fine. Let me see. Yeah, they're fine. They're great. Yeah. Because yeah. the other ones that I had are ripped in this area. Mm. Like on my other pants. So. Yeah, they're fine. Sure. Why don't you just bring everything out at the same time? Like, why are you going back and forth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this shirt would go well with these pants. Just a plain just... navy blue shirt? No. It has something that you probably wouldn't like on the back. See, man again? Mm -hmm. What the like heck? That. Why? I don't know. I thought it was cool. Interesting. It is interesting. <laughs> That's why I got this one. Let's no, see the last pair shirt. of pants. Wait, let me just see the pants. Hmm? Why you gotta change the shirt? It's so you don't have to change the shirt. Let me just see the pants. Okay. He got some cargo pants. Yeah, ain't got no cargo. They're pants. cute though. It's not supposed to be cute. Okay, they're stylish. <laughs> and that concludes Amir's haul. <laughs> That's the last shirt he got. <laughs> If you are a man watching this and looking for a place to shop, check out ASOS. You might be in luck. No, you ain't getting paid by them. <laughs> so us. I shouldn't talk. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ASOS, pay me and then I'll talk about no, you. No, <laughs> just, 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 just uh, what do you call it? Beep out every time you said... Uh, ASOS. Hour. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the last bit of the vlog, I might as well show you guys what I got in PR because I feel like maybe you I guys are interested. I feel like this interested. is good. What are you talking about? I didn't say it's bad, it's just interesting. Mm -hmm. For for other people with big bottoms, you know, you <laughs> have bigger shirts so it's looser, right? And then you don't have to be self-conscious about your butt being stuck to the bottom of your shirt. Thumbnail! What? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Mm -hmm. 
Let me show you guys what I got in PR. Firstly, this is so cute. Gerland sent this over. It's a little um, Mother's Day gift. And it contains a personalized perfume, which is so cute. This is my name, and then it says Wonder Mom. I thought that was so adorable, and I actually really, really like this case. I'm going to keep it and um, bring it with me to LA, because I think that would be cute for, like, jewelry or something. And then I got a whole bunch of other things. What L'Oreal Lux started doing, at least in Canada, is they started consolidating all of their products into one package, which I think is pretty dope. So they have, like, all the L'Oreal Lux stuff for PR this month, which is YSL, Victor & Ralph, it Cosmetics, Giorgio Armani, Atelier Cologne, and possibly Lancome, I think this might be. Is this, yeah, Lancome. So I think that is pretty amazing. And it came with the Luminous Silk Foundation, which I've actually always wanted to try. Sorry, it's a little bit out of focus. But anyways, yeah, it comes with the Luminous Silk. And I'm really excited to try this. Uh, at least, wait, is it Luminous Silk? Oh, this is Power Fabric. One second. Oh no, it's power fabric. I was hoping it would be luminous silk because I've always wanted to try it, but that's okay. And then I also got the Huda Beauty Tantastic, which is super cute in this little package. But these are super dope. They're like cream contours and bronzers, which I think is really good. And they come in super, super, super dark uh, colors. Like this one almost goes to like a black, which is pretty impressive. So I'll be trying that out in a video. Derma E also came out with a new vitamin C collection. I gave the serum to my brother, but this is a facial peel and it's supposed to be to, for like hyperpigmentation and dark spots and stuff so I'm gonna try this it has both glycolic and lactic acids we have oh you can see me hello um, let me sit down but I have the NARS orgasm collection so this I'm just gonna show you this because well actually let's we'll see what it looks like Ooh. okay that's kind of cute <laughs> I don't really want to open that but it basically comes with the blush, the liquid highlighter, um, a lip tint, an orgasm palette, and a lip balm. So that is quite, quite nice. I'm definitely going to have to take that home with me. Love the packaging on that. CoverGirl also came out with some new product in the I Am What I Make Up campaign. Well, actually, that's kind of their, that's their, like campaign name now but they came out with some translucent powders which I'm actually excited for because I find there's not a lot of drugstore um, translucent powders so this one is in the shade banana and then they just have a regular schmegular translucent one and then they have a new primer which has uh, clay in it kaolin clay this is mattifying some new concealers which I'm excited to try I think these will actually be my shade as well and then they have their uh, foundation in here which <laughs> this is definitely not my shade at all this is T15 I am D15 but I will give that to someone and then another primer in here as well which is their moisturizing primer so I think CoverGirl's like new packaging and everything is so dope and I'm definitely gonna be giving these a try um, I'm excited for that concealer and the translucent powder the most, I feel like. And then, oh, let me grab this. Makeup Forever came out with some new products. It is their Matte Velvet Skin. And this is kind of like a powder foundation. So let me try out one of these shades. So this is what it looks like. It has the actual product on this side. And then it comes with a little sponge. And I see the little divot here. So I guess you can actually take this out and put it in a palette. Um, so I think this would actually be a pretty good shade for me, but oh wow, that is very, very full coverage. Looking forward to giving that a try. I love Makeup Forever's packaging. I think it's just like so easy to travel with. And I believe this also, yeah, it comes with a mirror as well. So it's just like makes it super easy to apply. And I will let you guys know how I like that. And then Dior came out with some products as well. I don't really know what this is. A Couture Eyeshadow Trio. I'm not going to open these. I don't typically love the Dior eyeshadow trios. I'm not gonna lie. One sec. Let me open this. Okay. I take back what I said um, These are actually very different than regular Dior, which I'm used to they just come out with like very bland palettes I feel like sometimes But these two actually look very very promising not gonna lie. This is really really beautiful that middle Christian Dior shade looks stunning and then this one as well looks very very beautiful so I might actually just keep this one and give this one away to a friend or a cousin or something. Alright, now this package I am very excited for. This is by Nude Sticks. It's their Pretty Nude Summer Launch. 
and I saw them uh, feature this on their Instagram a couple weeks ago and I was so excited to give it a try so they sent it over and let's see what this guy looks like in person I can't wait okay so basically they came out with a bunch of cream blushes and it's like a dewy cream blush and I have been really really loving their cream blushes um, I've mentioned them quite a few times on my channel already but yeah I'm excited to give give these colors a try so they came out with also nude lip glazes or lip glass so let's see what they look like so if you didn't know nude sticks comes with all of these little cute tins when you purchase their products so you can actually like use them as a mirror as you can see or you can just kind of like store them for fun but I want to swatch poppy girl so I have poppy girl and what is this shade this is Bloss cherry blossom babe sorry these are not focusing right there we go we have these two shades in the cheeks and then we have this guy for the lips, and this is their shade in Nude 04. These are the three shades swatched. Um, the brighter pink is Poppy Girl, which I think I'm going to love. The middle one, definitely not my shade. I think it would look not that great on me. And then the gloss looks like something right up my alley. I love, love, love that gloss. Again, it's Nude 04. So yeah, love these. Thanks, Nude Sticks. So Guerlain also came out with this. So their Youth Watery, or Watery Oil, I've actually been really enjoying. It is such a beautiful oil to wear underneath foundation as kind of like a primer. Um, but this is something, I don't know if they're new, but I've never tried it. It's their Double R Renew and Repair Serum. So it looks like it's like two separate little serums that are mixed together and it literally it looks like honey. I'm going to try this tonight. I feel like I might enjoy it. So. We have that, and then last but not least, we have something by Charlotte Tilbury, and this is their Glowgasm collection. So a bunch of products from Charlotte Tilbury, but these are their two new products, the Glowgasm collection. So they have a light to medium, and then a medium to dark one, which definitely would suit me more. Um, but these colors are stunning. Like seriously, even just the packaging and everything, I'm obsessed. And then they have their eyeshadow quad and a couple of their eyes to mesmerize little um, shadow pots. Um, I feel like I need to get a new camera guys. This one literally plays me so much. It's always out of focus. And we have some of their collagen lip something. Or wait, this is a beauty light one and this is, oh yeah, a couple beauty light ones and then their collagen lip bath, which is an interesting name. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is basically all of the PR that I got over the past, whoa, we are very zoomed in. There we go, much better. But that is basically all of the PR that I got over the last couple days or a couple weeks actually, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. I am gonna end the vlog here because I'm kind of bored <laughs> and I don't really have much else to vlog. So if you guys enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, all of that good stuff. And I will see you in the next vlog. I promise it'll be more interesting. I'm actually going to cook tomorrow with the fam and serve them for our like usual um, like I did last year. I'm really excited for it actually. So yeah, I'll see you then guys. Bye. Love you. Mwah.